Hey everyone, happy Friday. I hope you've been having an awesome week and welcome to another edition of Friday Reads. This is a very special um, edition, a special week. I read the Because He's Perfect anthology, which is huge. <laughs> and it features Sean Brady on the cover, which I took that photo. And then on the back has me, which David Wills took the picture of that. And this was an anthology project. Look how big it is. It's over 800 pages. And 100% of the proceeds for this uh, anthology went to the Movember uh, Foundation. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what that entails. Um, and it had 20 different authors partake in this anthology. It took me about a month to read the entire anthology. Um, I really wanted to dedicate the proper amount of time to make sure I read each author's story. And let me read a little bit about what the Movember Foundation is. So the Movember Foundation focuses on three different um, men's health issues, which are prostate cancer, testicular cancer, and mental health and suicide prevention. And the foundation asks, what's the big deal with men's health anyway? Health doesn't sit, doesn't sit highly in most men's priority lists, at least until later years or when a problem gets really serious. The result, men's health is in crisis. Men are dying an average of six years earlier than women and for largely preventable reasons. We all want more time with our dads, brothers, partners, friends, and sons. So it's time to create change. We can stop men from dying too young. So each author within this anthology focused on a different issue that the main male character faced. I am going to very briefly talk about each author's story and one line that really stuck out for me within that story and then what issue was being spoken about within that story as well. So the first up was Renee Harless and her story was called Screw Up, which was dealing with speech impaired. And the line what that I took was, you made me feel as if I've lost control. The second was Tracy Delaney and her story was called Worth the Risk, which was talk dealing with HIV. The problem was I'd already given my heart to someone else 18 years ago. And another line that I took was, I couldn't give away my heart because it had already been captured. The next was DNA Renee for inhibition, which was tackling erectile issues. Pain and pleasure are opposite sides of a very fine line and that can be blurred. Next was Joanne Joseph with The Cure, which was dealing with ADHD. How can sitting in a stuffy room with a stranger telling him things about me that I can't say to myself help? Danielle Dixon with Nap King, which is talking about narcolepsy. I was, I was serious when I said I didn't think I was ready for anything romantic. How could I be when I was only just gaining back my self-confidence? Maria McDonald with Suck and Sweet, which was talking about infertility. You forget a food order on the 20 minute drive to buy it, yet you remember drunken ramblings from eight years ago. Samantha Lewis, Diary of a Teenage Queen, which dealt with ticks. The need for perfection can be too much at times. Murphy Wallace, Order, Control, Deceit, which talked about OCD. My routine may seem laborious and unnecessary to most, but it's the only way to keep bad things from happening. The only way to keep me from hurting not only myself, but everyone, everyone around me. Anna Edwards, Don't Sugarcoat It, which spoke about diabetes. You shouldn't have to hide something that's a part of you. Lexi C. Foss, Chase, which 
spoke about heavy bodily scarring. I just think we got off on the wrong foot. Ali Vance, Deep Breaths, which spoke about asthma. The first thing we do when we're born is breathe. It's something we all take for granted, and yet the most natural thing in the world. Claire Marta, Love in the Dark, uh, which was dealing with blindness. Tears won't get you anywhere, sweetheart. Anna Blakely, Unexpected Risk, which spoke about MS. He'd never believed in love at first sight, so it was quite a shock when it happened to him. Victoria L. James, Faith No More, which spoke about PTSD. They say your life flashes before your eyes when you're about to die. That's a lie. K.L. Humphreys, The Missing Piece, which was talking about an amputee. This anger you have, it's going to eat away at you until you do something about it. Alice LaRue, Broken Reflection, which spoke about body dysmorphia. Is it better to be lonely than pitied or feared? K.A. Sands, Pencil Tarts, which spoke about autism. I wasn't so naive or jaded enough to think out to think out of all the people in the world, we only got one shot at a happy ending. Lexi Pooper, Tremble, which spoke about Parkinson's. It's going to be okay. Morgan Campbell, The Heart of the Matter, which was spe speaking about a heart defect. Maybe she wasn't like the rest. And Ellen Boone, Royally Twisted, which is the last story in the anthology, spoke about breast cancer. If I have something to say, or if I feel something, I just say it. Life is too short to play those types of games. And while that was just a very brief outline about what each story was about, this was really such an amazing collection from all these different authors, and I just really enjoyed it. And it went to such a great cause. Um, it's no longer available to buy on Amazon, but I'll put a link um, on my post to the Movember Foundation if anyone's interested in donating or learning more about the foundation. But Because He's Perfect was the anthology project. And thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video. And I hope you have an amazing Friday and a great upcoming weekend. Thank you.